Okay, in the next view, we'll look at Explorer, find our DXF file. You can see the site contour DXF. It's substantially smaller than the site, uh, than the file above it. That's because I clipped the data. So, we've launched 3D Studio Max. We need to establish our units. Decimal feet. Good. File import your data. Browse to GIS terrain. Okay, this is important. Set it to layer, otherwise you're going to have thousands of line entities. Have the weld vertices. I suggest changing this to one. Okay. So the data is now successfully imported into 3D Studio Max. So select it. You can see it's one object. So one thing to note, there's some uh, quirks potentially uh, with 3D Studio Max. Notice the coordinates that are showing up in the XY, the bottom of the interface. What you want to do here is use Move and Transform Type In and move the model to the origin. You can see the large coordinates, right? We're in state plane for Albuquerque, New Mexico or the area north of Albuquerque. So change the X and Y to zero. Zoom extends to that viewport and you can see the terrain is now visible on the grid or close in close proximity to the grid. So in order to make a terrain you need to create a compound object terrain is a subset of the compound objects. Put mash on the button and now we have a terrain. You can see the cyan colors uh, beneath the edges of the triangulated irregular mesh. We have a desire to make a material upon which we can put the um, grayscale uh, elevation ramp. So go to a new material, go to the map channel. The diffuse color will be determined by a bitmap. You now need to browse to the bitmap. Remember, if you're using the render farm, it needs to be in on the server. We're going to use the site image grayscale. To TIFF. We can change the way we view it, and that looks exactly like our elevation model. All right, go back to the parent of the material, change its name to New Mexico. Now the object is selected. Now assign the material to the terrain. And let's render. You notice we get an error message. There are no UVW, no, no, no um, directions on how to place the bitmap on the terrain. So what you need to do is add a UVW map modifier. I suggest box or plane and use the fit option. A little further down. Or you can go bitmap fit just to make sure. Luckily for us, the bitmap and the terrain are the same dimension, and that's key. So now that we've done that, we can render and we see the bitmap terrain on our model. Tumble it a bit. Zoom in. 